How to Paint a Cube by Jason. This is Painting Lesson 2, Painting a Cube. Art vocabulary that we're going to use to discuss how to, do, to make a cube look three-dimensional using paint. Um, the key term here is value scale. Uh, the amount of black, which value is the amount of black or white in a drawing or painting used to create a mood or 3D effect. For example, we've created this a sphere by using uh, shading or a value scale. Uh, the value scale on the sphere is mostly dark, for example. Hello again, wonderful art students. Mr. Gilmore here again. Of course, you know that because I'm standing right here. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make a cube today, like it said in the beginning of the video. Let's start with our ground. Go ahead, make the best horizontal line you can across the paper. So just go ahead and start with a uh, vertical line right there, kind of about in the middle of the paper. And then we're going to use a diagonal line just towards your horizontal. And then a we'll do another diagonal line going off uh, to the upper right. And see how I've made them about the same length uh, where they've ended just about the same place in my paper, about the same length. They are parallel lines. They will never touch. Uh, and then connect them with a vertical line. Now, go with another diagonal line from the bottom of the first vertical line off to the left. Let's go ahead and uh, let's, instead of doing that, let's put a Let's make another parallel lines here. They should be going about the same way. Diagonal off to the left, up, up, and just about so they end at about the same spot. Uh, if you want to use a ruler during this, go right ahead. I'll pass them out. Uh, Mr. Gilmore, pass out the, the rulers. Yes, Mr. Gilmore. Okay. Um, once you've gotten that far, then let's go ahead and make another diagonal line going back to the upper right and if I make it down this way too too far almost almost horizontal that's gonna look a little off so I gotta make it sure and if I make it up too extreme then that's gonna make it look like it's going up we want to make it again parallel line parallel line so this one, this line is just about parallel to this one. And then we'll just connect them. Yeah? All right. Then you've got this right in the middle. Or not in the middle, but get rid of that line going, horizontal line going through the cube. Now it is uh, opaque. So now I'm going to, again, use the light source in the upper right-hand corner. Um, and now let's get to our paint. So I've got, again, I've got my so-called palette with purple, white, and black, um, which I'm going to use the purple as my color, my hue, and the black and white is going to help me create a value scale on this. Now, there's not so much blending to do on the cube as there was on the sphere. Um, because they're going to be hard edges rather than soft edges. So the lightest point on my on my cube is going to be here and the second darkest or the middle value is going to be here on the right side and the darkest value is going to be which is furthest from the light on the opposite side is going to be the darkest value. So lightest, middle, darkest and then of course you're going to have your shadow going off in the distance. Right. So let's go ahead and get some purple. Let's put in our middle value. So just go ahead and fill in. Look at that nice blob. Yeah. And I'm going to take that up with my finger 
and I made a mistake on my practice. Oh well, it's okay. Mistakes are okay. So I'm going to have and just do a fill in right here. Fill in, fill in. Now I've got a purple side. So now I do want it to be purple because I want my cube to be purple, but I want it, so just, I'm gonna put just the slightest bit of purple. Now I've got too much purple on my brush. I'm gonna wash off my brush. I'm going to blot it with my paper towel or napkin in this case. Then I'm going to go and get some white and I'm going to mix in the white. So I have a light, uh, light tint tinted, lightly tinted uh, purple. So there is a stark difference between this value and that value. This is much darker than the top. So clearly I'm getting some separation of my values, which is giving me the volume uh, to my object. Got it? So I'm gonna wash my brush off again, I'm going to blot it again, and then I'm going to put in a little bit of, go for the, the darker value, put in my purple, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, get some black. And I don't want it to go super dark. I think I've gone a little bit too dark, but I can do one of two things, I can add white to this to lighten it up, or I can go darker on the other values. It's actually not that far off. There we go, there we go, and you can see you've got, this paper's buckling, it's not the best, it's just for practice. Um, I would want a, if I was gonna do this really, I would want something that doesn't buckle like a canvas or a board, but this is just for practice, uh, just to get us started. Um, but you, clearly I have a middle value, a darker value, and a lighter value. The lighter value is, is uh, much, much lighter than the, the darker. Um, this, let's see if we can get some, a little bit more solidity to that. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to make it opaque. And let's see if I can get a more, there. There we go, that's a better, more solid color. Not so streaky. And I think I wanna go even a little darker on the, the dark side, the dark side. And there you go. That is a good first start. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in my shadow, which on this wouldn't actually be purple because unless the ground is purple. My shadow, and then I'm going to, let me switch brushes and going to go for a little lighter. I wanna uh, make sure the, the sides of the shadow bleed a little bit. Take off some of that paint and just bring it out. So I'm wetting the edges and then I'm going back, wiping off the, 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 the water and paint off my brush and then I'm just gonna try to soften the edge of my shadow. Just soften. There. But now I think it needs a little bit more shadow, a little darker value that is. And again, I'm doing this really fast because I want to go home and eat some bar. And soften that up while it's still wet. Take off some paint. And there you go. That's pretty good. And left a little bit of uh, unpainted space just to separate from the cube from the shadow. And I've made a bit of a mess back here, uh, but that's okay. It is just practice. I'm actually going to run this here because I want to. And then again, sign your name.
Beautiful. They are cube. 